Hi everybody, this is Izzy Kuntz again. Um, I'm going to do another uh, hair blow dryer uh, flower pour, and this is for my mom. Hi mom. Um, and this is actually gonna be for my mom. It is a 12 by 24 um, archival grade canvas, um, 12 inch by 24 inch. Um, my mom liked the small one that I made, and this uses the Rinska method. Um, I do use Floetrol in my paints. Um, and one of these bottles has actually a little bit of silicone in it, and that's this color. And this is the, the uh, blue flash. Well, actually, I think this is green flash. Um, all the rest that I'm using. So this is uh, folk art uh, paint. Uh, that's a color shift. Um, I all, will also be using a little bit of this black. Um, that's also Folk Art Color Shift Black Flash. Um, I'm going to also be using um, this uh, Pink Flash. Um, that's also Folk Art Color Shift. Um, and then um, this green color, uh, that's Green Flash from, uh, uh, that's Color Shift from Folk Art. I'm also using uh, this white that is Saks True Flow Heavy Bodied Acrylic. Um, I, I really like this white paint. Um, these paints have been ready for a while, so hopefully there won't be a lot of air bubbles um, involved with it. My mom wanted all the same colors um, that I made with the small one. And here's the small canvas that I made yesterday, and it turned out really beautiful. It's got to wait for a couple of weeks so it cures, um, but this is only an 8x10. I wanted to start on something small because I didn't want to blow it. Um, so anyway, so that's that picture. That turned out really well. Um, so I'm going to get started. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of white down. Um, I think I'm going to be making... Uh, three different spots of flowers to blow. Um, so I'm just gonna cover my, my, my edges here with some white. And this canvas has been gessoed too, by the way. <clears throat> And there is no silicone in this white either. I have it on a turn uh, on a like a lazy Susan too, so I'm hoping that will help with the blowing. Um, my husband was my husband is Kenny, and he's wonderful. Um, he also set me up with a. a an extension cord because I didn't have uh, a long enough uh, thing um, to make my blow dryer fit where the plastic is in the basement. So he got that all set up for me yesterday. So I was excited to do a bigger pour today. Um, I have a schedule that is very, very nice. Um, I'm a nurse practitioner and um, I'm able to work seven on and seven off. And so I really try to get a lot of painting done when I'm off those seven days. And I can do a little bit of painting um, in the apartment that I live in, in Jefferson City, Missouri, but um, it's not, I can't do it as well. Um, I have a lot bigger space here. Um, so I really enjoy really spending time in my studio, in my basement, uh, at home. Um, this is an OXO, uh, omelet, <laughs> uh, omelet spatula that's, uh, pretty darn good. I got it off of some, another YouTube person that I, that I watch a lot, and she's given me a lot of great ideas, and I wish I could remember her name, um, but I have subscribed to her page, and she is really good at what she does, uh, um, and also I'm a big fan of Rinska now too, now that I'm saying her name right, I think that's right, Rinska, if I'm not right, please, please correct me. Um, so I'm going to start to make some piles of, of paint here. Um, I'm going to start with, 
um, the blue. So I think I'm going to go one, two, three. So I'm going to start with some blue here. I really, 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 really hope this turns out well. Um, I have big expectations, I know, but I'm really wanting it to turn out really, really well. There is no silicone in these containers. It is a little bit thicker, as you can tell. Um, but I just think that that makes it flow better. It is really warm in my basement because we have a wood stove. Um, so it's really warm right now. I know I need to uh, probably, as my husband would call it, uh, well, I don't even know if I can explain it correctly. Uh, fire up, that's it. But uh, I'm not gonna do it until after I'm done with painting because uh, it's gonna get really hot in here and I'm not gonna be able to finish what I'm doing. So I'm gonna hold off for a minute. Okay, I'm just gonna drizzle a little bit of black on there. I need to grab a stick. got white paint on my foot. feels awful. <sighs> Again, there's no silicone in these guys. And if you can see the consistency of my paint, it comes off the stick really easily, but it leaves just a little bit of a, of a, um, indention. So m these paints, the deco art paints are, um, they're pretty thick. So it's probably two parts Floetrol and white to one part paint. And my mixture, when I mix the Floetrol in the water, it's, um, bottled water that I use and it's, uh, two thirds water to one third, or sorry, two thirds Floetrol to one third water. And it's really cheap here in Missouri. I can get the one gallon of Floetrol for 13 bucks and that's extremely cheap. It's twice that on Amazon and that's crazy, I think. Um, I'm just going to drizzle a little bit of black on here. Mom, if I didn't say it before, I love you. I didn't say it yet on this tape. Um, just drizzling a little bit of black on. I'm really, really hoping this turns out for her. Um, because I'm excited about it. Um, the only thing that has a little bit of silicone in it would be this uh, in this container. Um, so that would be the, the green, the blue that's in here um, is the only one that has silicone in it. And it's, I guess it's not, this is green flash. Although what, I'm not really sure what the color is, I'll be honest. Um, I was filling up paint containers and um, I think this one is is the blue flash and then there's one that's a blue violet um, so this is a blue flash but I think this is this is green flash here so the blue flash is the one that has um, I don't know what color it, I'll be honest I don't know it's like a turquoise color but I don't know what it is what they call it because I threw the container away and I labeled it wrong so there you have it. So um, I labeled it incorrectly and I don't have the container anymore. So maybe somebody can message me on this tape and let me know what it is. Um, I had to put my hair up today. I don't know if you probably can't see me. I'm down here. I got paint in my hair yesterday when I was doing all of this. And uh, uh, although that's fun, it's easy to come out. Uh, it was still a mess. Okay, so now I'm gonna surround all this with a lot of white. 
so I can blow it up on top. And then I'll blow it out. I like how those, these made little shapes here. I still have that loud straw. I'm gonna try not to use it. I have another one that I'm gonna to try to use that doesn't make all that loud noise because that straw will be used for some of the finishing parts of it. Um, I'm hoping it doesn't make a weird noise. A friend of mine watched the video uh, that I had done yesterday on a different painting and she said the whistling made her dog act funny. So I can imagine, I mean, if I can hear it and it's annoying, I can imagine what it is for a dog. So, um, Sally, I'm talking about you. Um, so I'm going to try to flip that white paint up. My husband, like I said, provided an extension cord, but I want to try something a little bit different. I want to try to flip with this, um, omelet turner. I want to try to flip some of that paint up too. Um, cause it's this omelet turner is fantastic. You see the cells already popping in there. Um, then I think I'm just going to use the blow dryer to blow it out. Already cells popping in there. And that's that uh, greenish blue that's doing that. I know I start to do things and then I end up doing something else, but that's just how I roll. I apologize. Um, this will be what Rinska does in a minute. See all those cells that are popping up from that? And there's just cells. There's none in the black. There's only cells in um, that blue color. Okay, that did really well with that, I think. Um, I'm gonna just surround it a little bit more with white. It's got a booger in it, okay. That white had a booger in it, okay. So I strain my white because the flow trial tends to have some boogers, even though you shake it really well, it still ends up having boogers. So I actually use um, cheesecloth and that works very well um, to strain it uh, when it needs to be uh, strained. So I'm gonna grab my blow dryer and we'll get started on this. And I do, my blow dryer has a setting this thing or has a, an attachment on it that works very well. Um, it has a cooling setting on it, but I didn't have any problems at all yesterday um, using the heat on my blow dryer. So I'm gonna turn this blow dryer on. It's gonna be a little loud, sorry guys. So there is a low, a medium, and a high. I'm gonna use the medium setting. or not. Pink doesn't want to move very much with that setting. Okay. Blow it out.
into it, didn't I? Sorry about that. different uh, layers here um, and not I'm gonna try not to mess with it too much like I've just been doing um, and I'm gonna try to stay within the the method that uh, I was taught let me do a smaller one up here Do it in a different order here. I'm just going to drizzle a little black. I like the black in there. Um, okay, I'm going to surround it with white, and this time I'm going to use the blow dryer to flip it up and then turn it around to, do, to, um, to blow them out. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that works a lot better. Okay, now I'm going to blow them out. Okay, now I'm gonna get my straw. I'm gonna do some blowing here. Try to cover up some of this canvas. The straw is a mess. Can you see it? It's awful. Nothing like your good old lungs. It's nice to have good lungs, I gotta tell you. Oh, that is turning out really pretty. I love those cells in there. And the messiness too. I like, kind of like that too. Look at those cells in there. Do you see those cells? Oh my goodness, they're very pure, pretty, pretty, pretty. are beautiful colors together I think um, it's messy but I love it I'm glad I have my hair up I gotta say I'm gonna fix this up with some some white here some of the edges that I didn't grab uh, because I think I'm I think I want to leave it alone um, I think I'm done blowing
I got all my notes done for work. So today and tomorrow and the next two days, it's snowing here. So um, I'm going to be doing a lot of painting. That's my plan anyway. But with painting comes cleanup because I was mixing paints upstairs on the dining room floor or not dining room floor, dining room table, covered in plastic, of course, but it still makes my husband extremely nervous because he likes his house in order. And, and I don't mean that in a bad way, I mean it in a good way. He's, he's the one who helps keep this house in order. So um, he is definitely a 50% partner in this marriage for sure. And uh, uh, so when I'm gone for that week, this house is in tip top shape. So I need to make sure I leave with it in tip top shape. It makes him a little nervous when I'm mixing paints upstairs. So um, I'm trying to assure him that I'm not gonna make a mess and I hope I prove him correct or prove myself correct. Um, I'm gonna get a paintbrush, I think, and try to get some of these edges all the way covered here. Um, or something a little, uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna use a paintbrush. Yeah. I'm trying not to get any of those brushes in my paint or any of those bristles. There's one. Get that out of there. I don't want to tilt it because I don't want to make I don't want to change anything about it. I'm fine with how it turned out. Quite excited about it. I'll hold it up so you guys can see it a little bit better. It's messy but beautiful, I think. Um, like my page um, or subscribe give me any comments that you might have i think i just want to run a torch over it just for a second to see what happens here see if i can bring out any more of them cells i do like cells oh if i see a piece of hair in here or not hair but bristle i guess it could be hair Some of them air bubbles out. There was a few air bubbles. Okay, I'm gonna bring you in for a closer look here. There it is. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.